Hello beautiful collective. Thanks for coming to the channel today and seeing me. I'm enjoying my coffee. I gotta admit I've had too much coffee to drink today so bear with me. I might be a little hyper. Oh my god. I don't know. I just love coffee. I love the smell of it. I love the taste of it. I love everything about it except when it gets old. Tell me about Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, and or Soulmate Connections. What do you want the Collective to know? Hmm. Very explicit. Talk to me, Spirit. Distant Shores. Legacy of Light. A shifting universe. Some acceptances here, guys. Just riding the cosmic wave. So I'm going to pull these energies because at a distant, there is distance. Distant shores. A legacy of light. A shifting universe. Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. Not universe, universes. Shifting universes. Heart of God. Ooh. Wow. The blood dance, the communal dance, the mother prays, within nothing there is everything, gifts received, hello from the heart of God. Something is shifting in the universe. The heart of God is coming through. Gifts are received. A mother prays. A communal dance. So we have mother and father here, guys. Teaming up with you, collective. That is the communal dance. It's like you're dancing with the mother and the father of the universe. Gifts received within nothing. There is everything. So that's what this is saying in this void time. Universal gifts being received. Celebration. The mother prays. Within nothing there is everything. All in this distance there is light. Something is shifting in the universe. The universe says. Plural. Father God is here shining through gifts received mm. the mother prays within nothing there is everything 
<laughs> Out comes this eruption of light. For transformation. Someone's coming out of this like a hero. There'll be a sacred convergence, a coming together with the ethereal touch. Cosmic butterfly transformation. All I do know here, by the way that these cards are coming out, guys, mother and father of the universe is partnering up with you. Gifts received. You're receiving gifts. And this is of light. And this is, just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not there. Many of you already know what your gifts are. Yes, you do. All of this comes light, an eruption of light. It's like something is shifting in our universes. Plural, I find that very interesting. Very deep if you want to take it there. This is like major, guys. It's not just about DMDF and soulmates. This is about Earth itself. The mother of the universe is praying. The Father is stepping through. Gifts are being received. And we are part of that universe. So as the universes are shifting, so do we. This is the age of Aquarius. Some breakthrough is coming through in a big, big way. I don't think we're ever going to see things the same. Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, or whatever this message is that Spirit is revealing. Out emerges this beautiful rose with roots of abundance. Yeah, there's thorns on the rose, but a rose is still a rose. It's very beautiful. It's intoxicating the... It's a nine. It is definitely a new beginning of a solid foundation, root planting roots of abundance here. You know, you got to go through all these challenges to get to that beautiful flower, but it's sure worth it. It's a beautiful new beginning. It's a beautiful, solid foundation roots, planting the roots so deep it cannot be shaken. Hmm. Yep comes shining through just like the first set of cards said comes like a burst comes shining through a breakthrough Is that shining light look at this a deep breath just take a deep breath let the universe handle this. This is learning. Within nothing, there is everything. Just breathe because you're 
been given a bunch of uh, knowledge here. It is about knowledge. It is about wisdom. There is a breakthrough from Father and Mother God here. Universe. We'll take it as it resonates. Whatever you believe in. There is no in between. I've never really looked hard at this card, guys. But this is the universe. It's a four. Learning something. It's almost as if spirit is saying there's a higher view, a higher purpose behind this. And it's like, you know, it's like you can't go the land between. It will fall. It's like it's only, it's not on a solid foundation. Like, you're straddling two worlds here. It's like building this, trying to build a house on something that only is held up by a couple of pillars. It's going to crash. Somebody needed to get a higher perspective here. A higher view, like... If you saw it from heaven or the universe looking down, it's like, that's unstable. That's going to fall. It's like, it's got to be a coming together, a tender embrace. Yeah, you can't stay like at the land in between straddling two different opposing forces that don't fit there that third party situation don't belong there there's a tender embrace like elephants mate for life okay they're, they're connected you know even if a elephant passes away their soul partner will cry and won't leave their side like they will pack their bones around that's how loyal they are hello universe tender embrace 22 two twins coming together gotta get rid of this third wheel that's what universe is saying it doesn't belong there it looks foolish like you've got two solid land bases with this foolish looking thing that's being suspended up in the air it'll fall that's what spirit's saying it'll fall it's gonna fall that's why it's important to have this willing release. Just release. Because this has endless possibilities. This union. A powerful move. Seeing beyond third eye chakra wide open seeing beyond within nothing there is everything seeing beyond the current what it seems this willing release someone had to let it go 
You know what I mean? Someone had to let go of this. Seeing beyond, within nothing there is everything. And Spirit is saying, like, you got to choose. Birds of a feather flock together. Divine belongs to divine. It's like, wish upon a star is here. Mm -hmm. Someone's holding on to their heart, please. It's beyond the ordinary. It's not like a common everyday experience. We get to experience something like this. And it is beyond the ordinary. And Spirit is saying to embrace it because not every day we get to experience something like this. It is beyond the ordinary. What is going on? It's not like a boyfriend girlfriend situation here this is beyond what most people can even anticipate what is even beyond what we anticipate this is not just about divine masculine divine feminine it is a universal plan that not all of us are privy to and spirit is only can reveal it when it is time to be revealed okay the universe is the authority here everybody talks about you know when or am i going to get this karma when is the karma going to get their car it's not ours to worry about it is up to the universe to delegate out who is who in the zoo and quite honestly, it is one. And I'm glad I don't have authority over that because it's an, it's in, it's beyond the ordinary. It's unfathomable for many. But there is going to be a burst of magic here in a big way, an unfolding, and out of this emerges. Something beautiful being unfolded. A new way of being. A new way of thinking. A new way of living. I don't know. Something beautiful coming out of it. That's all I do know. It has a merry motive. Okay? It's for good. It's for the higher good. It is for, it has a good intention and motive. All the little lights are on. All the little glowy, little magical things are ha happening and transforming here. Yeah, I'm liking it. It's very... <clears throat> A spirit of gratitude, being grateful for this moment. Even though we cannot always see, like we can't see how the universe sees things, you know? They have a higher perspective of things. And we don't always understand it. But all we're supposed to do is take on this spirit of gratitude, being grateful for what we have, who is around us, our loved ones, ourselves. It's all for learning and knowledge and wisdom and... Mm -hmm. body and soul coming together there's a dragonfly on here in that beautiful rose 
Something is blossoming and something is transforming to bring it together into one combining here. Seeing through the smoke and mirrors, yes. And this looks an awful lot like the same smoke and mirrors, guys, doesn't it to you? This illusion, within nothing there is everything. So just because we can't see it, doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Being able to, someone, you know, doing these smoke and mirrors, it's only an illusion. Someone seeing through the smoke and the mirrors. That's tricks, that's illusions. Hmm. Close Encounters is here. Now, this is a new beginning. It's a 10. But there are two butterflies in it. That is transformation. Again, it's two, two, not three, two. Two butterflies coming together, body and soul coming together. There's no room for three there, just saying. But this one had to willingly release it because it was an illusion. It's like one partner had to say, I saw through the smoke, the mirrors. It's an illusion. It is imaginary. Uh, you can't be at the land in between. It'll fall. And seeing, again, the beauty. you got to go through hardships in order to get to the nectar. And this is where the transformation begins. Again, new beginning. Transformation. Hmm. Yep, the old divine timing card. All in divine timing. The time machine, it's time. I just know that it finishes with a grand symphony all the pieces of the puzzle come together all harmonic ending okay a grand symphony Why? Letting it go. There's a coming back together. They're still attached. Divine Matrix. Let the universe deal with it. It's like... It's uncharted waters. Okay? But the compass is there. a new beginning divine masculine divine feminine that's a 44 guys there's an awful lot of fours in this read almost every card I pulled had a four in it and tens fours and tens four 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 ten nine ten change five 
learning. That's interesting. Four, four, sevens, nines, tens. It's all about universal lessons. We might think we're powerful. We're only as powerful as the universe allows us to be. There's a higher authority than ourselves. And it will have a grand finish. I, have you ever seen the universe do anything half-assed? Like, seriously? If the world was created, and all the oceans, and all the mountains, and all the birds and the fishes and humanity and all that do you think that the universe is not capable of having something finished in a grand way it will be grand <laughs> we tend to forget sometimes because we get so busy in our world and in our day that we forget there's a higher authority than us. <laughs> and people worry about um, no. The universe is in charge. <coughs> Eleven. Eleven. Tens, nines, sevens. Change. 44s. 4s all over this read. 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. Mm -hmm. Movement, choices, and decisions. What shall I choose here of all these doors? Do I choose money? Sex, commitment, healing. What about a combination of it all coming together for one big purpose? Stand your ground. You know, I was going to say, like, I appreciate all of your comments, and I do read them all. I'm amazed how y'all have different opinions, and I appreciate that. It's like differences and different belief systems. I, I enjoy it, to be honest with you. But the way I'm seeing it, from only one person's perspective, many of you got this in a big way, like in a big way. But I still see that a lot of people are so consumed with what's going on over here. Instead of seeing through the illusion, it is an illusion. It's an illusion. And within nothing there is everything and it's like when we learn to stand our ground and make our own choices for our own lives we can let go of the illusion we don't have to be in between anything we can stand our ground and choose our own path and not worry what anybody else is doing. The universe is in control. Very powerful universe we belong to. It's a powerhouse. And I just choose, even though I don't see everything... I just choose to trust that 
somebody else knows what's best for my higher good because like I don't always know I just simply don't I'm like hell to the no I don't know <laughs> and I don't know sometimes sometimes I do I have strong intuitions but there are some times I just don't know so when I get faced with I don't know I just trust the universe does because obviously I have not experienced that or been faced with that circumstance or something all I do know is I trust our creator knows more than we do so I'm like I'm just gonna put it in your hands if I don't know I don't know yeah somebody had to confront their shadow and do some shadow work it's like stepping out of the dark into the light we we should embrace the shadow because in nothing there is everything that's where we do our deep knowledge that's where we gain our wisdom and that's what this is saying three times now it's a reference to this it's like within nothing there is everything so it just because we can't see it doesn't mean it doesn't exist so within the dark, we see the light. And love begins. Yeah. Have to face, embrace our shadow. Because that's where we get all this information from and knowledge. Passion is ignited. It's like... A total complete awareness it erupts this light within us being open to these new ways of being thinking experiences I'm liking it yeah opening our uh, our crown chakra to the universe okay what is for my higher good and let me be honorable to that it is about spiritual strength and growth here. Yeah. It is a spiritual union. There's no question about it. Very fertile. This is abundance. This is learning all the awareness. Our heart chakras being healed, the whole, we're engulfed completely. That is hmm. no need to sacrifice, no need to sacrifice. It's like spirit saying you don't have to be a sacrificial lamb here to anything. You have to honor your higher self. This is the heck. You don't need to be a sacrificial lamb here. There are no martyrs here. The what the blood dance has already been danced and that was our mother and father universe whoever that is to you already suffered we don't have to be a sacrificial lamb for any spiritual union no you can let this person just do their shadow work get their own enlightenment there is no sacrifice anybody's got to do here. You're not sacrificing or giving up anything, Spirit saying. You're finding you. Wisdom. And hope. So that everybody can learn. You know, everybody's a different timeline. I don't know. Maybe you live 
several lifetimes and maybe this person's only lived one or two we don't know so patience let people learn there is a new beginning It's like this person is standing on top of the world instead of carrying the world. They're an explorer. They got a, you know, like, they're ready for this new beginning here. Instead of carrying the world, you like, where, what do I need to learn? That's higher learning. So on this break, there is success and triumph here because when you're on this break you also are healing and rejuvenating yourself you have a triumphant success here that's when prosperity begins i like this and there are two hands that come together guys might be your own hands i don't know your own beginning your own prosperous new beginning but this is all faded this is destiny nobody can alter destiny it's you know we cannot alter destiny what is meant to be is going to be there's no point to suffering in silence okay Follow your intuition, your third eye chakra. There has been a tower, a disruption, because of temptation. But you are gaining material and spiritual prosperity. There is a new foundation standing in your power. It's like... It's fulfillment of wishes, okay? Choose wisely what your wishes are, because not every cup that you slake in this card, this fulfillment of wishes, it's like somebody's looking at this little box of treasure here, being opened up. Mm. Choose wisely. It's all about choices. Hmm. Which path are you going to follow? Hmm. But every choice has a consequence. Building on a firm foundation, yes. What's at the... What is at the core of this? What's at the root of this? It's all about awareness. It's a waiting game. There is emotional withdrawal here, okay? This person is emotionally withdrawn. Suffering in silence when they don't need to be. It's like, what do you have to be? A sacrificial lamb here? No. Patience and planning is. <coughs> I knew that person was there because when my throat chakra closes, it is because people don't communicate, they're not communicating. 
it's like healing they're healing same as you are but something is speeding up with accelerated motion you know let's talk about it yeah authority is the universe <laughs> This person, is, whether you know it or not, are feeling this emotional loss. Okay? They truly are. Now, the truth is, here, they could have victory and success, but they're faced with all these obstacles and challenges. You, and there is a material harvest, but... It's like this person is trapped in fear and they need to move on from it. Maybe they are moving on. Positive movement forward, but see, that's deception and envy with the sacral chakra here. There is a triumph here, though. They're in conflict and feeling defeated. And you, they want triumph. You have this triumph. And when they do, there's partnerships and alliances here. See the light. It's like bring this harmony back there is material mental conflict <coughs> they're not communicating they are emotionally withdrawn they cannot say what they want to say you're going through this light you're the light there's this light that keeps coming through and spirit is saying there will be a triumph there will be harmony there is going to be transformation or you already have done it you are being given recognition and reward intuition is here so you will be rejoicing and celebrating there is memories of love here but not to be like a sacrifice. You got to do what's honorable for you to do. For you. And each person is different. There is no right or wrong. It's all about learning. It's all about balance. What makes you have this solid foundation? Mm. Everything financially and materially is changing for this person. There has been heartache and loss, and there has been solitude. But I can tell you that this person is discontent and bored with their life. When all they got to do is like learn how to communicate, how to build this solid foundation. And Spirit is saying, you're not obligated to do any of the kind. All you got to do is build a solid foundation for you. You are of the light. You see the light. You have hope. You are abundant. And in all this solitude, you are showing there's everything in this dark. You found it or you are finding it. Hmm. Spirit is really, really adamant lately about this. Tell me about it. Spirit, what do you want to say? Is there any additional information that you want to tell the collective about this journey? Just love you. Be in the light. Just worry about your own destination. If they're catching up, they'll catch up. If they're not, they are not.
But I can tell you that they are not content. And they're having memories of love, of this foundation and achievement. Karma. Not knowing. It's like land in between. You can't, you got to make a decision. What is it that you want? This person, they got to choose. <clears throat> They're juggling in between worlds, just like the first card out said. You got to make a choice. And it's like they are immature. It's like, yeah. They've created all this distance. They could be wanting to come in for a victory and communicate here. But so far, they're getting their karma. That's what they have to go through. It's this, this is love. This is divine love here. Spiritual love. I don't know. The truth is, they're going through a tower. And they are emotionally withdrawn. But there are emotions there. How can you hide this beauty? You're a spiritual union. But it's like... I don't know if they went greedy. It's jealousy and envy here. There's jealousy and envy here. I gotta say... They're like, they could have their heart chakra blocked off. All they care about is money. They could be very self-indulgent, self-absorbed, self-serving, jealous and envious. I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. Now, normally this Queen of Cups is like very nurturing, very loving, overgiving, empath. That's what that is. Hmm. The Alchemist here. It's like jealous of you. There is jealousy here I, I and envy. <clears throat> I think that probably this person, that's why they don't communicate. And their heart chakra has been blocked. And secretly they are jealous of you because you're so open. You're so nurturing. Giving. And probably you gave way too much of yourself. And now they're jealous and envious because they are not getting what you used to give them. Energetically or any other way. Hmm. Twin flame. Ending. You're building on a solid foundation. That's the consequences. They gotta face their shadow. Okay? They're moving on. They are feeling the consequences. Trust me, they are feeling the consequences. They are doing some 
They are feeling the consequences. Now, what is this family situation and balance here? And moving on. Yeah. Are they bailing on this karmic? I wonder if they are. They're in that boat alone. You go alone, you know what I mean? It's got to be a personal choice. Can't have somebody tell you what to do your whole life or how to live your life. you got to live it your own way. You can't be at the mercy of like a karmic energy telling you how to live or anybody else. I mean, it's a personal choice. But they're, you know, not every cup you go reaching for is a good one. What they found in this one scared the heck out of them. And they are stressed out. This emperor is looking right at sleepless nights and stress. Well, they did that to their divine counterpart. But you know what? In the darkness, <clears throat> there is everything. It's destiny. It can't mess with fate. Fate is fate. Make a wish. <laughs> Somebody is moving forward. As above, so below, spirit is here. Hmm. Think they got put in the timeout chair over there, feeling a little wounded by spirit. Doing the hermit, trying to find their way. Spirit is saying. They had consequences. They had it on a go here is this blessing. Here is this opportunity. Spirit is saying that was a goal, your golden opportunity for happiness. There is justice here to pay, I'm telling you. For being a fool, I'm sorry. Taking on another energy in a commitment that was a divine partnership. Jesus. Yeah. Spirit is saying, go and look at out what else is out there in your sacral chakra while you let your sacral chakra rule your life here thought their ships had come in thought they could deceive the universe oh no no sees everything this universe sees it all that's why they gifted you with such good intuition here the truth <laughs> <clears throat> you can't hide from the truth. The truth is the truth. It's unmoving, unwavering. You can't. Truth is truth. Right? High priest and high priestess with truth. Okay? Hmm. The world is here. And the Five of Pentacles. What? <laughs> you walked away. Had to fill your own cups here. You're keeping me trapped with a player. It's like you had to stand in your own power. It's like you're abundant. And, and they were focused on the coin. Looks like that's one of the cups they chose. The more more attentive to their finances or staring at the coin instead of staring at the empress. Don't they know who the empress is? Manipulating. Trust issues. Now creating trust issues. Mm-hmm. 
Now they want to come in and they want to present an offer to their soul mate who they broke their heart of. They're moving on from the karmic. They want to fight for this. They're pushing away the karmic and they want to fight for this. It's like they want to... No, 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 no. I don't like that energy. It's like... Tell me about this energy, about the past here. I don't know about this. Tell me about it. They're angry that it ended. What is this, a game that this person was playing? They're angry about the that it is over? Because you are so abundant? Oh my God, there could be angry at the third party. But I'm telling you, conflict and drama is right. Heavy burdens because they refuse to see. And now they're sad. And I'm going to be up to every person what they're going to do. But just know, I mean, you can blame the karmic um for some of this but you know we all have a personal choice you can't blame the karmic for everything here this person had a personal choice same as the collective did i'm just saying you had a personal choice you could have chosen to be this make a wrong choice and do all of that but you chose not to this person wasn't uh good with there is see they were wearing a false mask spirit caused this tower to fall now really think back guys when you decided to end this situation or it was ended I'll bet you that you saw all these synchronicities taking place, all these numbers appearing, um, different clues and signs that the universe was giving you. And the universe will... Uh, indeed give you the same signs when this person is going to return you this if spirit gave you the signs the first time around certainly going to give it to you the second time around or when this person attempts to come back in the universe is looking after you you do not have to worry there the universe is in complete control and be like you know you're not going to miss it you don't have to like uh what do I have to watch for? You don't have to watch for anything. You're going to see it. You're going to know. Just as you knew that something was up. You're going to know what's up. You're going to know. You're just going to know. And that's the way the universe is telling you to handle it. Just trust the universe. Trust. They know what they're doing. You are under absolutely no obligation to return to anybody. And you're not going to have ill will from the universe if you choose not to. You choose what is your. Everybody's circumstance is different. But do know, you've got teamed up here, the mother and father of the universe on your side here, helping you. So you do not have to be a sacrificial lamb here. That's what Spirit's saying. There is no sacrifice you got to make here. It's like you've already given. And just do what's good for you. 
And if spirit wants to tell you otherwise, spirit will tell you otherwise. It's going to be obvious. It's going to be completely obvious. It's nothing that's hidden. You'll start getting little clues, but then it'll get so powerful that you will have to look at it. So no worries, collective. You're being held up. Take care. God bless.